this isn't bad for December. I mean, you know, what are we saying here? 80 odd degrees, flip-flops, t-shirt, shorts. That's, that's not bad. I, I love that about South Florida, I've got to say. Really, really nice. I thought I'd let you in on some of the computer woes I've been going through and uh, they weren't actually bad but it's just one of those things that recently and I don't know if you saw this on the messages I kept posting I wanted to shut down my main rig and I was standing up it was a long day and I thought I'll just go and you know quickly shut it down and for some reason the hibernate menu was showing so because I wasn't actually sitting down I was kind of standing up and was only half awake or it was a long day in one of those things I was literally one pixel above the shutdown button and accidentally caught the hibernate button which isn't really bad but my hardware doesn't support that feature so what happened was that Windows was trying to hibernate and of course nothing was happening the computer was neither shutting down nor was it hibernating so it was kind of just sitting there with a blank screen for like 10 minutes at which point I thought hey I'm gonna to go to bed now and I'll just go and press the button switch this thing off and when I tried to restart Windows it was just completely balked so it couldn't start it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't able to boot and um, I thought you know hey this this happens sometimes so I tried to bring it back wasn't having it so it was literally it was a long affair and uh, it was just it wasn't happy installing uh, refreshing itself internally refreshing with install media it just wasn't working at all so it was completely balked and do believe me I have tried and so I thought hey no problem I'll just go and um, grab a brand new SSD and just put it on the uh, put it in there and uh, install Windows afresh just because you know it's been on my mind for a while I've been meaning to do this for for almost a whole year and I've been putting it off because hey there's just never a good time to do this is there so I did it spent a day a good day uh, putting it all back together and it's slightly larger drive so I thought you know no problem always takes a bit of time finding the software finding all the drivers and I started working with it and things seemed okay but I thought hey Cedric how's it going Cedric he's our local waterman here Thanks! <laughs> so cool. So um, I started working with a new system and I thought that's just something that's not quite right about it. I mean it's the same hardware, hardware wise nothing has changed but the system appears sluggish you know especially during video edits when I press the space bar and I'm expecting the feed to start and I have to kind of wait two seconds for the play to actually begin and the same when I try to stop things and it's not good when you're video editing so this is this was a bizarre thing and I've never had, never had it before and I thought I just don't know what the problem is um, tried several tweaks and it was just you know it's an m2 based system or at least the video drive is so it wasn't it wasn't really that it's just it's so bizarre so I thought hey this isn't this isn't great I don't really know what to do so I thought hey why don't I take this as a sign and use my other computer as my main rig that was always the plan and I always I held off on it because my two GPUs don't quite fit in it due to a different motherboard design so just to give you a bit of a basic overview here my main rig currently or was my Z800 workstation it has two Xeon CPUs in there and uh, you know they're, they're kind of they're old they're like 10 years old but you know two hexa-core CPUs I believe they are and um, you know they, they pack a punch 24 threads two GPUs two RTX 2080 GPUs it's a good system and it works fine it's got a 1200 watt power supply it's you know it's good stuff it's good stuff kicks kicks some ass and um, the problem is of course it is 10 years old and it could well be that when I installed Windows back in the day they still supported legacy bits and pieces which I have a feeling they don't anymore so now that I've installed it fresh I have a feeling feeling Windows just wasn't looking very well at the at the fact that there's legacy things that need to be installed like HP for example were very good at maintaining all the systems or keeping drivers on for old systems they've taken the drivers down for the Z800 which you know they're supposedly all in Windows Core now but are they I mean I remember having to install some things for you know for for the for the for the whatever chipset is in there and stuff there were things I could download previously and you know they're gone so I couldn't apply those and I don't have the installation 
files for that. I could probably get them from cracked sites and all that, but the point is I have a new system that I bought pretty much like six or eight months ago, a Z840 workstation with processors that I had upgraded and all that. I told you that story before, and it's just much, much faster. So I think the CPUs alone are like two to three times faster than what I currently have. So I think they are, I think I'm talking 40 threads, the two, Decker core CPUs in there. It's more power efficient and um, it's, it's, the motherboard can take more GPUs, so there's more slots on there. But that is also the issue, the reason why I haven't used it, because I can only fit one GPU in there. I can't fit both my GPUs in there because they're too wide. So they are, they're two slot GPUs, but they have this overhang for the fans. So technically they take up three slots. And by the time I put the first one in, there's just no room uh, next to it to put Put the other one in because it it occupies the other two PCIe slots which is you know a problem so I held off on doing that because I didn't want to lose out on rendering capabilities with two GPUs so I'm thinking well uh, currently the system that I've swapped the computers over I'm currently using the Z840 as of yesterday and it's it's working well it's a pleasure to work with and I did once again spend a whole day installing the software I need and it kind of works all right it currently has two GTX 970s in there so really not great but overall system performance is fantastic I must say so I'm thinking maybe I'll just give it a go at least with one GPU that I take over from the old system so at least I have one RTX 2080. I could also swap it over for my RTX 3060, which has the same oomph, like in regards to rendering power, but it has 12 gigabytes of VRAM, so that'll help me out on, on larger scenes. I could do that. But um, at the same time, I can't mix the 3060 with the 2080. That's just, you know, Blender's just gonna forever compile render kernels and just never get done to doing anything. So I'm gonna just maybe not do that. I might just go and start with one RTX 2080 and then I'm gonna see if I can possibly get myself a riser cable that can just break that port out and then I just do something else with the, with the card so that it's at least, you know, in the same case, but it's not quite slotted in, if you know, what I mean so the the uh, riser cable is basically like an extension that goes into the PCIe slot and then the end of it connects to the GPU and then you can just go and do whatever with the GPU and just, as long as it's um, nicely cooled we, we should be all right so we'll see if it works I've ordered two on Amazon one for 10 bucks one for 20 bucks which oh, I can't, can't really go wrong with that one is a straight through cable and the other one is something that connects to like a short part of the slot and then takes a USB cable cable on a SATA connector and I'm thinking okay that one was ten dollars well that's an interesting experiment but it also sounds like it's never gonna work so anyway I'm gonna see what happens on this occasion I've also uh, ordered myself a Wacom art pen do you know that if you have an Intuos or a Cintiq and if you're a, a user of such tablets then you know that the pen that comes with it is excellent but there's one that is like even more excellent and that supports rotation so on some of them some brushes when you rotate the pen the barrel rotation it can be picked up and only the art pen does that so the regular pen um, doesn't do that the, the one that comes with the tablets that's called the something else pen I think this is just called the whatever pen I don't know and the art pen is like the whatever the better one or whatnot and I thought hey I've always wanted to have that now that I've been getting into Corel Painter recently I thought you know this is this is great I'm, I can really see how that might just be a really really nice toy to play with and hey I haven't had any Christmas presents last year so I thought hey I'm gonna treat myself speaking of treating myself I've also upgraded because I'm insane I've upgraded to the latest versions of Corel Painter Pro and Painter 2022 I've already had the 2021 versions and I love them so much and picked them up for such a cheap bargain there for 30 bucks. It's almost worth getting, getting this bundle again just so that I have a second license just in case I need to. I'm getting so much into it because PaintShop Pro has these wonderful filters that turn regular photos or 3D renders into really cool artwork. So I'm thinking that could just be so awesome for animations. In fact, Brian's had a video that really got me inspired there last year and he's made a refresh of this just now uh, thank you for that Brian I really appreciate that so uh, I've converted some of my animations that are playing in the holding sequence of my streams and turned them into kind of cartoon hand-drawn type animations it looks absolutely amazing 
so really really cool and what that can do to 3d renders is just really exciting and um, painter then on the other hand I'm having so much fun with making something turning something into artwork because I at, at the core I'm really a talentless hack so the thing is I need all the help I can get and painter is just the thing that could make it happen so anything from doing backgrounds to paintifying um, 3d characters once they've been rendered you know it, so, so I, the, the way I'm looking at it is you, you combine all these tools together you have kind of a mediocre render it's either fast or it's an awesome render and you really take that to the next level or you turn it into something completely different and it's just I think what gets my creative juices flowing really is having toys like that to play with and just doodle around and be completely unproductive about it but just have a ton of fun and that is then follow the passion and that is then how to how new projects and new ideas and new opportunities are born just because of the passion and this is actually why I'm doing all this the computer the new computer that I had this is an investment in me essentially I'm finally getting to use it uh, with one GPU or two GPUs it doesn't really matter if I can make it with two hey awesome it'll be great if not hey I'll just have I'll just have a monster system with one GPU it's totally fine with me there's also for everything else there's always infinite compute if I do need more rendering power I can grab that from the cloud then the investment into software like um, the 3ds wrap my god what a tool or substance painter or uh, the this uh, the painter 2022 even 21 is just fantastic i think there were some improvements on 22 in regards to the sumi e brush that is like a wonderful watercolor brush that blends everything and oh i say tons and tons of fun my friends i'll let you go and i will speak to you next time take care